Hello, my name is Cordell the Board. This is my channel. If you haven't seen my controversial video, I promise that I will have a video up around lies that the media tells you about furries and the actual truth. This is that video. So I'll be explaining to you the lies that the media tells you about us and how that is not true. I'll try not giving you a 10 page paper, but I got a good amount of stuff to talk about in this video. Number one, furries are fans of anthro, so furries are fans of anthropomorphic animals again. I dare you, I already took one whole video explaining a how furries evolved from a phantom round anthropomorphic animals to a subculture around animal like creatures. Watch my controversial video now. Number two, furries are equals other kin. Other kin is the belief that you do not have a human soul, instead, you have a spirit of something else, in this case, an animal. There are some furries like Carthrix who are otherkin. However, 54% are atheist and 23% are Christian. Christians! Number three, furry art equals hardcore pornography. There is a good amount of yif art out there. Yif is the furry equivalent of the F word. The only major difference is the shortened way to say yift up beyond recognition doesn't have a firm pronunciation or and sounds weird compared to foo bar. The internet rule 34 states if it exists, there's porn of it. However, what it doesn't say is that if it exists, there's also non-porn related stuff of it. Think about that. Number four, furry art equals crap. Let's just say there's bad furry art and good furry art. Number five, furries find two-legged animals hot. In one survey, 37% of furries said yes to the question, do you find two-legged animals of the opposite gender hot. 38% said that there is some hotness and 24% just weren't. And even if the survey didn't come out, ask yourself this, why are furries not asking for the the letter F to be added to the LGBTQIA plus thing, where F stands for furry. Actually, come to think about it, it why don't we have the letter F in that thing from this moment on? It should be LGBTQIAPFM for P as for polygamy and M is for Mermaid. We're not adding any more letters to that. Number six. Furries are drug dealers in disguise. Unless Jeffy from the Blaze is in this group, I don't think there's drug dealers in the fandom. They like alcohol, but so do sports fans. I don't consider sports fans dr drug dealers, aren't you? Number seven, all furries have cheap mascot costumes and have sex in them. No, no, and no. First, a fursuit is far from a mascot costume, okay? They are. Second, they're not cheap. According to an article by the Bill Ford, a can cost upward to three thousand dollars. There are a thing called partial suits which include a head, hands, feet, and a tail and those cost a few hundred dollars 
but make no sense. If you can, are if you're an animal, are an animal, walking on two legs, you really can't do pants because of the tail. Okay, there are images out there that try to explain how it could work, but then that would mean usually adding a hole in the butt part, making putting on jeans a two animal job. So either they were to were were nothing with nothing with with a chance to show their genitalia or even a they were hoodies in, in this way or b where what whatever you call that seriously what would you call that let me know in the comments Don't get me started with dragons and t-shirts, either. A three-quarter suit does exist, and it makes more sense than a partial, but still. Also, may maybe your persona is a tar, a three-headed dog, or a... or one of those snake with arm things that that has a similar name to that of the n-word. They don't make one person suits for those. And sex? Again, the, the they're expensive and having sex and them could risk destroying it. Plus, it Supposedly, a sauna in the first suit, so it doesn't sound like such a great idea. There are supposedly fursuits with genitalia within them, but that sounds so wrong on so many levels. Do the fursuit makers have to buy something from Bad Dragon? Night. Third contact was for Audrey. What is it with sex? I forgot this year's I episode, but certainly people, I don't watch yes I. And second, yes I is not correct. And third, of even if it were correct, I don't really think you should trust your how the furry fandom is because you saw a yes I episode on it. Okay, at a. Furcon, you really cannot do sex on the premises. There are other things you can do at a Furcon. You can commission an artist to do art on your persona. Eat food. Drink liquid. Don't talk to people. Parade your fursuit. Or just stand in some corner listening to try editing for the up teeth. Drink. Time. There are probably a few comedian acts and music performances, but mm, but by furry musicians, but not a whole lot of sex related stuff. Unless Jeffy's there or they're selling bad dragon stuff or both. Nah, furs only like mammals. Furry fandom is open to reptiles, fishes, birds, amphibians, dinosaurs, and even dragons. Number 10, furries equals white supremacists. There are a few furries who actually are, but if Lawrence Jones from The Blaze wanted to join, the majority would probably accept him. Still, 90% of the fandom is white, and I don't really know why that is. If you have a theory, let me know in the comments. Please share this video to your not for non-furry friends. I don't think it'll change their minds, but who knows.